Hi, welcome to an overview demonstration of Employee News functionality in Employee Center Pro. Employee News functionality addresses the needs to increase employee engagement and streamline internal communications. Our purpose-built employee news capability provides a seamless end-to-end -end experience with a dedicated News Center page, various widgets for Employee Center Pro pages, effortless news authoring using the Rich Content Editor, and targeted publishing. This feature offers a purposeful and integrated experience for both employees and communication managers, and it helps minimize digital sprawl by consolidating news within Employee Center Pro. In this demonstration, you will see examples of end user news access, a configuration review, which touches on audiences, categories, content destinations, and lastly, an example of news content creation using the Rich Content Editor. All right, everybody, here we are on Employee Center Pro. Very excited to be able to share this with you today. So here's our new News Center navigation item. And down below on our homepage, we have our latest news, News Feed Widget. Now, this News Feed Widget can be placed anywhere on any page, on any topic. It comes out of the box here on the homepage and on the topic pages and a few other areas. Um, and behind the scenes, we like to call this Content Destinations. That is one of those pre-configure options that I talked about earlier. We'll get to more on that in a bit. But these, everyone of these is a destination, our news featured news widget here, our company news feed widget here on the news center. Um, this is where employees can go to really get all of the company news um, that they see fit for them. They can even browse by category as news articles can, can be tagged with categories, one or more, uh, as you can see here. I'll kind of click into one of these. You can see we've got the different news associated by category. And one thing to note is that even the news feed widget itself on any page can be refined to a single category. That is an option as well. So let's go ahead and dive in, just take a quick look at one of the articles. You can see that here. And then of course there are the other news widgets here on the article template that can take you to the various news articles. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these articles are alive in the system regardless of whether they are shown in a widget. But keep that in mind that the life cycle of a news article is based on start and end dates. And that means that they are shown on the portal via links, bookmarks, favorites, or search, but to be viewed in a widget itself or one of our content destinations, that has a specific publish plan associated. And we'll get into that as we take a look, a little peek behind the curtain here uh, for how we create and ultimately publish news articles. So as we talked about earlier, I'm here in the content publishing module. That is where news and other types of content are created. But before we dive into the creation of the news itself, let's talk a little bit about that pre-configuration that I mentioned in my presentation. Audiences. This is who the news article or any content can be targeted to from content publishing. In this case, we're going to use a travel use case. We want to create a travel policy update news article and travel really only applies to benefits eligible employees. So we're going to we're going to use that audience as the target for our article. In addition, we've got our content categories. These are the categories that I mentioned that can help refine or the browse experience uh, based on the category that has been tagged to a given news article. You can see we've got one right here called travel and expenses. In addition, we've got our content destinations. This again is that critical element that gives us so much power and flexibility for how and where we're going to publish the news article. You can see various types, benefits news, IT news, travel news, all are associated with topic pages. Then we've got even our featured news on mobile in the featured news section. And we've got other types of widget instances, featured news on News Center. We took a look at that. And then of course, the homepage feed and the News Center feed. So all of these are what we call content destinations and can even be refined by duration. So a lot of power here and flexibility in broadcasting news, advertising news out to these destinations and uh, configuring how long they should last there. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into our templates because that's where all of this comes together. Now you'll see there are a few templates listed here because we're doing news regarding travel. Let's take a look at that. So I've got my template here and you can see various settings, including those three items that we just talked about the destinations themselves. Where is this news article going to be advertised? They're all listed here. Our audience, 
we mentioned the benefits eligible employees. Only these employees will be, will it be relevant to see travel news. And then of course, the categories that we talked about, travel and expenses, pay and benefits. Once we have all of that configured and preset up, it is a snap to ultimately create and publish news super quickly. All right, so I'm back in my content library and just to set a little context, here's all the different content types that we can build, news, rich content for microsites. We've got banners and videos and events. We've got mobile content, email and push notifications and more, even tasking. But for our purposes today, we're gonna look at building out a news article. Now this is kind of your empty state. We're not gonna linger here too much because I've pre-built an article to share with you. But keep in mind that again, the published start date and time and end date, these ultimately give the article a life on the portal and or the mobile experience. That is not related to where they're advertised in a given widget. You've got your headline, your sub headline, a featured image and that content template co concept we just went over. So you can see all the various content templates are loaded here. And for the news article that I wanna build, we wanna assign that to travel. So let's see what that looks like. Now I'm here in this new company travel policy article. I've added some settings, a life cycle of a year, the headline, the image. We are gonna use a content template and you can kind of see some various settings here. But because this isn't just the default setting, we really want to make this more of a travel news which changes that audience, it changes the destinations, and it even changes the categories. Let's make sure we're using the right one. So as you can see, the categories just got updated. We're now using the travel news content template. And on the publish tab, we've got all those destinations loaded. You can see the audience that we selected. You can see the various locations. Those are the, the destinations we talked about. And each one of those will have various scheduling windows depending on that duration I also talked about. Let's come back here and actually see how easy it is to create your news. So I've done a little bit of pre-building. You can see we've got this text section here, uh, all the text and buttons, various elements are pre-assigned to your portal theme. So there's really not a whole lot of very, you know, you can always override and do advanced styling options, but for the most part, if you want it to stay consistent with your portal theme, these are your options here. You can see we've got an image. I actually want to go ahead, maybe just make this one slightly bigger. I'm going to adjust this. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just add a divider and a button to link over to our new policy. So I've just added a divider. I'm going to give it a little bit of extra the top margin, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my button. Now, what I'm gonna do here is give this some new alignment. Let's give it a better label. I'm gonna keep it to target this window. Okay, so now we think this is looking pretty good. We're gonna hit save and finish. So once we come over to the publish plan, again, we've already got all of our publish plans set and automated. The last thing I'm gonna do is just preview it within the experience. You can see we just set all that up. It's looking pretty good and I'm happy. Let's go ahead and generate the plans, which ultimately publishes the article. Now, I didn't go through these steps, but obviously you can add additional advertising through banners over to various articles, or other types of important links right here in this carousel. But for now, what you can see is our latest news um, feed widget has been updated with the travel and style with our updated policy. We can look at that here in the featured news widget, as well as in the company news feed. And of course, it's also been targeted specifically to the travel and relocation topic page. And with that, that is how quick and easy and powerful it is to deliver an amazing out-of-box purpose-built omni-channel news experience. We've got some links on the screen here, folks, that'll provide more information on this and other Employee Center Pro functionality. Thanks so much for attending our session today.